Hello to all traders, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you one of the best scalping strategies for 2024, which many professional traders use to achieve significant profits. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the explanation of this strategy. But remember to stick to all the rules I mentioned in this video and don't overlook any of them. First, go to the TradingView website and then select your desired symbol from the symbol section. I recommend choosing a symbol with high trading volume and significant price fluctuations so you can maximize your profit in the shortest time possible. Next we need to set our time frame. Just set your time frame to 1 minute and then go to the indicator section. Now type trend strength signals in the search box. Click on it to add it to the chart. After that, we go to the settings of this indicator and make the necessary adjustments to ensure it's suitable for our strategy. As you can see, there are clouds in this indicator created based on moving averages, which can greatly assist us in finding entry points for trades. You can also see that this indicator generates buy and sell signals that we can trust. When we see a buy signal, we enter a buy trade. And when we see a sell signal, we enter a sell trade. And we can make very good profits from the price going up and down in the market. However, always remember that one indicator is not enough for our strategies. To increase the accuracy and win rate of our strategy, we need to add a second indicator to the chart. For this, we go back to the indicator section and type Amazing Oscillator in the search box. Once we find it, we click on it to add it to the chart. As you can see, this indicator has been added below our chart and requires some adjustments. So we need to enter its settings and make the changes you see so that this indicator is suitable for our strategy. Now that we have made the changes, we need to know how to use this indicator. First of all, you will notice these red and green lines. We call them the RSI line. The green and red histograms you see are referred to as the RSI column and the last thing you can see in the image is the line in the middle which we consider as the midline. With this explanation, using this indicator becomes very simple and easy. Whenever both the RSI line and RSI column are above the midline and both are green, a buy signal is generated for us and in those areas we can look for entry points for our buy trades. Conversely, when both the RSI line and RSI column are below the midline and both are red, a sell signal is generated for us and in those areas we should only look for signals to enter sell trades. Now that you have learned how to work with these two indicators, I need to teach you how to enter buy and sell trades and where to set your take profit and stop loss. But before that, I want you to take a look at the channel because I have created many strategies with different win rates and explain them to you in detail. Let's start with buy orders first. We should first look for a buy signal. After that, we need to ensure that the price is above the cloud at this point and that the price candles are green. The next step is to check the second indicator and see if both the RSI line and RSI columns have crossed above the midline and are both green. If these two conditions are met, we understand that we have found a suitable entry point for our trade. Now we need to set a stop loss for our trade. We can find the last swing low and place our stop loss just below that level. At this point, we can enter a buy trade and for our take profit, we should consider a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. Now we can wait for the price to reach our take profit and the trade will close with a profit. For a sell order, we first need to look for a sell signal. After that, we must ensure that the price has moved below the cloud you see and that the candles are red at this point. 
Now we need to check the indicator and make sure that at this point both the RSI line and the RSI columns are below the midline and are red. If these conditions are met, we understand that we have found a suitable entry point for a sell trade. Next, we need to set a stop loss for our trade. To do this, we can find the last swing high and place our stop loss just above that level. Now we can enter the sell trade here, and for our take profit, we should also consider a risk to reward ratio 1 to 1.5. The only thing left to do is to wait for our trade to close with a profit and the price reaches our take profit level. In this video, I shared my suggested scalping strategy for Forex traders in the 2024 with you. This strategy focuses on discipline, flexibility, and stability. And I believe it can help increase your chances of success in the markets. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced trader, I hope you found something valuable in this video. And I encourage you to share your experience or questions about scalping in the comments below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out my other videos for more trading tips. Love you all and until the next video, goodbye.